Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel and this is Sir Dan. For today's video, we will be discussing about significant figures. So for us to easily count the number of significant figures, let's have the following rules in identifying the numbers. We have here the first rule, all non-zeros are significant. When we say non-zeros, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to positive infinity. Then we also have the following rules about zeros. Zeros that are first leading, when we say leading, yung mga nasa unahan, they are considered not significant. If you found zeros in front of the numbers, you will not count them as significant figures. Then we also have between. I just write here the keyword, the leading, between. When we say between, zeros that are between two significant digits or two non-zero numbers. Okay? So when you found zeros that are between non-zero numbers, they will be counted as significant figures. Then we also have the trailing zeros or yung mga nasa dulo. Okay? When you find zeros at the end of the numbers, they are significant if and only if there is a decimal point. If there is no decimal point, therefore, you cannot count the trailing zeros as significant. To understand it more, let's have 10 examples uh, that I have in here. How many significant figures are there in the following? Number one, let's count first the number of non-zero numbers. So we have here one and one. Automatically, we, o we already have two significant figures. Then, then let's take a look at the following zeros. This zero is between two non-zero numbers. Napapagit na siya ng one at one. Therefore, it is a number that is between two non-zero numbers. So, yung zero na yan, I counted as significant. Kasi between, according to this rule. Ayan, between or, between um, two significant figures or two non-zero numbers, significant yan. So, ito naman, yung dalawang zero na yan, we call them the trailing zeros. Kasi nasa dulo. Okay? Kapag nasa dulo, ang titignan natin kung may decimal point ba o wala. Since ito ay walang decimal point, these two zeros will not be counted as significant. So all in all, in number one, there are three significant figures. Next, let's have number two. We have 0 0.005. These three zeros are what we call the leading zeros or the beginning zeros. Nasa unahan sila. Therefore, uh, leading ang tawag sa kanila. Okay? Then, if they are leading, regardless kung may decimal point o wala, they are not considered significant. So, ka, wala tong x, I, I mean, wala tong zero na to, tatlo. They are not counted. Five is a non-zero number that is considered one significant figure. There is only one. Number three, we have ten point. 2050. So first, let's underline the non-zero numbers. We have 1, 2, 5. They are automatically counted as significant figures. Now let's take a look at the zero. We have here zero between 1 and 2. So between yan, they are significant or it is significant, the zero. And this is also between 2, between two and 5. So significant also. So all in the meantime, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then we also have this one trailing zero. Nasa duling zero kaya trailing yan. So it will be considered a significant figure if and only if there is a decimal point. Since you can see here a decimal point, you will be counting this as another significant figure. So all in all, they are all significant figures. We have six significant figures. Next, we have, the, we have here 3, 4, 5. You can't see any zero numbers. Those are considered non-zero numbers. So all of them are significant figures. So three significant 
figures yan. Kasi wala namang zero dyan. Number 5, we have 5,000 or 5,000. In here, we have one significant, one, one non-zero number that is already considered a significant figure. Then we have here three zeros and they are, they are considered as trailing kasi nasa dulo. So, itong zero na to, tatlong zero na to, alamin natin kung significant o hindi. Kailan ba nagiging significant ang trailing zeros? Kapag merong decimal point. Since wala namang decimal point dito, you will not consider them as significant. So, there is only one significant figure. Next, let's have number 6. 0 0.00500 So, meron tayong isa na automatic ng significant figure. Then, we also have the 0, 0, 0. They are not between. Or they are not in between of any two non-zero numbers. Sila ay nasa unahan. So, ang tawag sa kanila ay leading zeros. Automatically, they are not significant. So, wala na itong tatlong zero na yan. Not counted. Then, meron tayong dalawang zero dito. They are trailing zeros. Nasa dulo. Uh, let's see if there is a decimal point. Since there is a there is a decimal point, you will count these two trailing zeros as significant. So all in all, we have three significant figures. Number seven, we have 0 0.010110. So this is not a decimal point. Wala yan, wala yan. Um, since we have three non-zero numbers, three ones, so, we have already three significant figures for sure. Then, ito, we have two leading zeros or beginning zeros. Not significant according to the rule. My decimal man o wala. They are not considered as significant. Then, this is between. Between one and one. Significant yan. Next, zero is a... There is a one trailing zero that is considered significant because there is a decimal point. So, we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Excluding this, we have 5 significant figures. The number 8, we have 20.02. We have 2 non-zero numbers. Automatically, we, we count. We already have 2 significant figures. Then, these 2 zeros are considered uh, between. Zeros between 2 non-zero non numbers. So, they are counted as significant automatically. So, all in all, they are all con considered as significant figures. Four significant figures. Then, ito, trivia ko itong dalawang to class. Did you know that zero muna tayo? Ito. Yung zero na yung class is considered one significant figure. Then, ito, automatically, basta pag zero lang, zero itself, zero alone, is one significant figure. Kapag 0, 0.00, it's not leading, it's not trailing, it's not in between. The, uh, we, will, we will consider them as significant. All of them are significant. So we have three significant figures. So whenever you have 0, 0.0, there is two significant figures. Pag meron tayong 0, 0.0000, we all, uh, we have five significant figures in total. Tandaan nyo, pag walang mga non-zero numbers, lahat ay zero at may decimal point, you will count them all as significant figures. So, those are the rules in identifying the numbers of significant figures in the following given. I hope that you understand this lesson. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep you more updated on my next video. Thank you.